All right, guys. Um, I'm going to show you the Windows 7 theme that I have uh, and a couple other mods that I have on my phone. Um, you guys can message me or email or whatever if you want me to do more. Um, and if not, let's get started. Um, so basically, it starts as the Windows theme. Um, so scan my finger there. Um, so I got the Windows bar on the bottom. I have Pogo Plank on the side. Um, I have. I've got a custom um, <clears throat> network bars at the top. Um, it's hard to see on the camera, but my instead of bell, mine says seven, just to kind of match the theme. Um, it says my name at the top. I have the two little computers in the world um, for my Wi-Fi, and I have my alarm clock and of course the battery. Now when I plug that in gonna look a little bit different so once you charge your phone um, my I also have an alternating background I put that down in again so as you can see there's my volume also a little bit different um, when I change when I get a pop-up uh, I get the minimize, maximize, and close buttons on the top just like the regular windows. Um, on my lock screen it shows me how long it's going to take for the device to be fully charged, three three hours. The next one's 256 and then the next one after that is 251. So showing that I have USB power. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the brightness on my phone so that I don't have to so that it doesn't lock up on me so under settings if I go into settings I have a loading screen for my settings while it loads um, whoops. going to hit auto lock and I'm going to hit never just for now, and I'm going to go back to the home screen. Um, so, uh, I'll show you a couple of things. There's basically a loading screen for almost all the applications that I have. Um, so, if I go over to media and I click on that, <clears throat> and then I go to iPod, uh, I get the Windows Media Player. Once that loads up, uh, it's a little bit differently colored um, and it has different icons on the bottom so if I pick a song to play um, you know there's obviously it looks a little bit different than what it normally looks like uh, oops. So I can swipe up to open messages. As you can see, it says SMS with a bubble while it loads. Um, so that's cool too. Um, as well, it shows um, I have a custom background in the back. If you can, if you guys can see that orange for them, uh, a gray color for mine. Um, I think. YouTube has its own loading screen as well. Um, it loads a little bit faster, so you didn't really get to see it. Um, I know Photos also has a photo reel when that loads too. It's kind of neat. Um, so, you know, you can go through, look at your photos, do whatever. Um, under Internet. Facebook, Safari, um, I mean all this stuff like the maps I'll open up maps and it's a world uh, there's lots of different stuff that this theme has, it's fully customized um, Safari looks like the internet, you get your forward and back button, your bookmarks um, and whatnot. <clears throat> uh, my weather, my calculator, all that stuff, it's all themed weather. They all have loading screens. 
Um, some of the applications have loading screens too. Um, I'm not going to go into big detail about those. Um, I mean, some of the more mods I've got. If I double tap the um, up here in the corner, my status bar. If I double tap that, I can bring up my my phones um, and whatnot. Um, like I said to earlier, swipe up for SMS. I can basically choose any gesture or change my buttons around with what's called activator. Um, also, under Rock and Cydia, Cydia has a different loading screen too, uh, different icon. Um, and if you happen to use Rock, it also has a different loading screen. Give that a minute. The icons down on the bottom are changed as well. Um, so, um, if you guys want to get that theme, you're going to go into Rock or Cydia. I mean, these are all the different themes that I have, things that I have. Sorry, if you want to take a look while I'm scrolling through. So basically, I have Vista Mobile. Um, so again, it has its own sounds too as well. Um, stuff open um, okay so if I decide that I'm going to close that um, if I get rid of mail and then I say I go back into it whoops Okay. Let's say I click. Okay, I don't have. I don't have mail on there. If I go into mail, I have my Windows Live Mail signing in. It's really hard to see just because of the color of the theme. Um, and there's all my mail. I get the rotating bar circle down here. Um, just like you do on the Windows Vista machine, that's that's the loading circle for everything. For everything that you get those kind of flowery looking loading symbols, that's default. You're, it's going to turn into the cool kind of circular one. Um, it's also situated with its own sounds. So if I take it over here, put on the volume. Um, that's, your, that's your off sound, which is basically... Um, uh, the sleep button um, you've got when you sign on it has that sound there um, when you plug it in it just sounds like USB basically so that's kind of neat too um, so I mean there's a lot of stuff that that uh, they've done with this theme uh, it was an excellent job it's one of the one of the best I think um, you know full customized theme with just about every part of it um, themed so it's uh, it's pretty good so I got a world for that too um, and let's see under for my address book I believe when it loads it shows um, if it's not already loaded Mine was already loaded, but if yours isn't, um, it shows up as the Windows Live Hotmail thing. So, anyways, um, so yeah, if you guys want that theme, it's under uh, Windows 7 Mobile. Thanks, guys.